So in the video I did about rotoscoping and masking, I loosely mentioned Runway with ML and I didn't go into it at all. I had no affiliation with them. But since then, the good people at Runway have been gracious enough to bless me with the pro tier of their product for a limited amount of time. And today in this video, I'm gonna go over some of the effects. I'll probably do more than one video, but this is the main thing I wanna go over is the masking tool they have or the green screen tool, because it works, it works very well. All right, so if you go to the link in the description and get your account and everything set up, you can start off absolutely free. The only catch to it is when you export your product, your projects, you can only export in 720p, but it's still free. So to get started, gonna go up here and go create a new project. And this has a video editor. I hadn't really dabbled in it too much. I'm just gonna go over the green screen in this video. If you have any questions about the rest of the features, I will go over those probably in another video. And for right now, we're gonna go up here and hit upload. I'm gonna find us a clip we're gonna use. Got my clip selected. You see, they got the uploading progress right here. So, we have to wait for it to get done. Once your clip is done, you just grab it and drag and drop on the timeline and play it back. And it's just this, it's some stock footage of this dude with these random looking glasses. If you wanted to rotoscope this out and you wanted to catch all this hand moving and stuff within the adventure resolve, you had to go by one by one or even break down the mass into your rotoscoping mass into several different parts in order to capture all his different movements. Now within Runway ML, like I said, this is all built into the web browser that so doesn't have any, it doesn't pull any power from your PC. So you can run this on a toaster if you wanted to and still get the effect you want. We're on the green screen and click that. Give it a second to load. Now within this screen, you're basically gonna take your mouse and gonna click your subject. You can usually do like one or two clicks, but since he's actually moving around, we're gonna do several. So we got pick his arm and everything. Just gonna click everywhere we want to be masked out. And you instantly get a preview as soon as you click on it. Is that the little iffy with his shirt? I've come in contact with that with a little, I guess you call it a problem a few times, but it's nothing major. It's like just click and add more points. And hit preview and you see it's missing a couple of little points and little spots but other than that is actually pretty much matched them out you actually go through here and hold go move your playhead you slowly scrub you can see here it's missed that so it's gonna create a keyframe saver and match that that particular part of his arm I'm gonna scroll through here a little bit more and you just grab the mouse and just drag or you can hit a uh, left and right on your keyboards, on your keyboard keys, I'm sorry. Like right here is missing. And as it creates these different keyframes, you'll see the little notch down here, kind of like the little uh, stars that you're used to seeing within DaVinci Resolve. As you can see here is a little part of Mrs. Hair. And from having these little twists, it picks up pretty good. You can see it's, it's got the little space here in between, but it's all right for this little demonstration. You can go through and refine a lot of this stuff as well too. Don't click that, make sure you get this little hair here. This here is actually not a part of what we want. So to actually get rid of that, you can go up here to exclude, click that. And then exclude that, that frame. Well, exclude that part of the footage. I'm sorry. And so he picks up to pick up his arm movements like this, moving around and stuff so well, it saves you so much time if you want to mask out a subject. Now, when you're done with your subject, you can actually go over here to overlay, hit the drop down, you can view the alpha channel. So everything that is white is what is going to be transparent. Everything that well, is actually going to be opaque and everything that's black is going to be transparent. So you play it black. You can see, you can see it picks up on a little bit more than what you might have missed in the first go around. Like you can get to about right here. You see it's got the little extra frames that I don't want. So you want to go up here and exclude, click them, click them. 
and that was gone. And all I make will say is the keyframe, like so all the keyframes are down here at the bottom. So we'll get rid of this. Keyframes are saved right here at the bottom. You can go through, you can actually move them around, adjust them, or you can hit the little X and you can get rid of them. preview now he got a little bit of a kind of a uh, little bit of a spill on him due to the fact that from what I can tell basically because he's doing a lot of movement so to have so much moving going on and to catch it as well as it does is really good especially since it's not pulling off the power of your own PC it's all on the website all on their servers they handling all of the, the, the heavy work for you yeah you do have a feather you go up here and you kind of feather it out so you can kind of Get rid of a little bit of this spill. Let's go back a couple of frames. Let me see this little here, this little assets here. I don't want. Click that. That's gone. You also got a refine up here. You have a brush. You can change the size of the brush and get feather. Make it a little bit smaller. You can go up here and kind of do a little fine detail work. I'm going to include. So I'm going to click back that. Click. There we go. You can make your brush bigger if you want to select more of an area. You can make it smaller and select more precise selection. There's also a library of effects as well. You go over here to the little plus sign, drop down. You got like the edge to tell. You got the different color, color effects. That's the edge detect, which is actually in DaVinci Resolve. There's a bunch of different effects. I think, I'm not sure if you get access to all these effects if you just use the free tier. Like I got access to the pro tier for a limited time. So we're going we're gonna to see what it does for a, little access, for a little amount of time I got access to it. The layout, you get a bit of like a transform. You can kind of move and resize the subject. If you want to make them smaller and bigger. This is another real good example. I made two clicks and you see it pretty much maxed out his whole body. This clip here actually has better contrast between the subject and the background compared to the last clip. You see, I give it a little extra help here. So I'm going to click on his shoes and max out his arm. Click out this shoe and hit preview. And he's doing the whole break dance and it's pretty much not missing a beat, at least as far as I can tell. I know it's a little part towards the end it misses. So we're going to go over to overlay, alpha channel. Like right about here when he's spinning up. You see they miss a couple of spots. So go there and click here, click here. Go skip forward a little bit, let it load. Go back and to the preview. Now you see actually with a, a green screen, you hit preview. And all that movement is captured within seconds. This is all done in real time. But it comes to exporting, you have a host of different options. You have free, like so you only get 720p export for unlimited projects. Now you can actually export that 720p clip and to something like DaVinci or any other program and upscale it, but upscaling is never as good as native. You got 1080p with the $15 a month plan. You get 4K at $35 a month. You get the Pro Tier is $100 a month. And you get unlimited PNG exports. Features which the green screen is still listed as a beta. And there's a couple other features coming down the pipeline. You get first access to those. Give you feedback and I guess they can kind of improve them from there. Once your project is done, you just have to hit the little three dots here and hit download. You can name it and everything or just delete it all together. We hit here, download. Drag and drop it on the timeline. And we got our clip here. Of course, to key it out, you can go into effects, open effects, 3D keyer. You can drop it on there. Go to the drop down here and hit open effects overlay. Go into the inspector tab into effects. Grab the dropper, click. You see, you got a little bit of a spill there. Go down here, spill, crank it up. And 
as simple as that. And that literally takes a couple, just a couple of minutes as opposed to spending anywhere from 20 to 30 to hours on end rotoscoping, especially something like this out. This will literally take forever. Be sure to check the link in the description down below and tell them that Mixed Media sent you. I appreciate you watching today's video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for future content. And I'll see you in the next video.